everybody, it's me, Auntie Allison, and my faithful assistant, Sarah. Sarah Beth. And my other faithful assistant, Alice Gray. Yay! Today we have some really, really fun experiments and STEM projects and STEM activities that we are going to show you that have to do with Easter. Yeah. The first activities we're going to show you have to do with eggs. Now, this one you need to prepare ahead of time. All it is, is one egg and vinegar. So you put the egg in there and you pour the vinegar over the top. And it's called the rubber egg experiment. Okay. It's it's, so the egg is supposed to be squishy. Now, I did take some pictures of it uh, some video of it yesterday that I'm going to share with you where you can see all the bubbles. And yesterday it looked like the bubbles were coming off in sheets. It was so neat. Look, it's like the bubbles are coming off in layers. Look, that is so neat. Mommy, when can I squish it? This is going to be the coolest experiment. When can I squish it? And so fun to watch. Can it's not going to be squishy until tomorrow. This is called the rubber egg experiment. <gasps> look, look. Okay, so everybody's going to feel it. So we're pulling it out. And we're going to put it right here. All right. Now, yep, we can dry it off. Okay, you, and then... Maybe wipe some of this off. And then y'all can touch it and feel it. Show them what it's doing. Yeah, it, kind of, it smells kind of bad because it smells like vinegar. You can't squish it <gasps> too much. Or else. What do you think will happen if you squish it too much? It'll pop open. You think? Watch out. We will. No, I like it. I like it. Okay. I like it like it. No, no, that's my squishy. My squishy. And... No. Here is Sophie. Wait. No. Okay, so some of it, that just peels off. No. That's just another outer little layer. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna get it all off, yeah. Okay, let me see it real quick. All right, so Alice Gray is showing you how it is, pe this um, outer white layer is peeling off. So it's gonna end up looking translucent. Now I'm gonna let her be peeling that off. And while Sarah Beth and I tell you about our crystal egg geodes. All right, now our crystal egg geodes, we did three different ones. We did red, yellow, and blue. Now I'll tell you, we did it yesterday but we didn't put enough borax in. So I redid it this morning and already the crystals are growing. Now, if you let them grow 24 to 48 hours, then you will have lots and lots of crystals. All right, so I'm going to scoop this out and show you that the crystals are already forming on the egg. So all I did is I cooked eggs for breakfast. Now, if you don't eat eggs, you can just crack open eggs and throw the inside away. Then clean out the inside. Oh no, it did bust. Oh no, so if you squeeze it too hard, it does bust. Oh, okay. So anyway, the crystals grow inside the eggs and grow on the outside. Just based on how good this one's doing in only a couple of hours, I can imagine how great it's going to do once it's been in there for a while longer. Now I am gonna stick mine back in there and see if any more crystals will grow. All right, these are the egg geodes. They are so cool. Look how beautiful they are and how it sparkles. This one really sparkles. The crystals on it. Oh, I mean, this is fascinating to me. 
So these did better with the smaller opening, but this one's pretty cool because it's really got a lot inside. And here's the blue. It's not sparkling as much. The red really sparkles. All right, there it goes. It's sinking to the bottom. Now, all we did is I took water, put it in a pan, boil, got the water going to a bowl, then I poured in borax. Now, you have to pour borax in until it won't dissolve anymore, okay? Don't just put one or two tablespoons. That's not gonna be enough. Keep pouring borax until it won't dissolve anymore. Then pour it into your containers. I used um, mason jars and put different food colorings on there. So not only do you get crystals, but you also, it also dyes your egg. Now the yellow one didn't dye as good as the other colors. So you might want to um, think about using some darker colors when you do it. All right, guys, so for this experiment, we're gonna see how tall we can make the Tower of Eggs. So why don't I do the bottom part of the egg? I'll do the top. And you do the top part of the eggs. Sometimes if the egg, if the plastic egg has gotten bent, it may not sit good. Like that one wouldn't sit, uh, uh. All right, I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna try one more time. Gonna see how tall. Now you can make this into a game, into a challenge if you have more than one child. See how tall you can build it in a minute. Um, and if it falls over like mine did, then they can try to do it again. But they've got a minute to see how tall they can make it. Or you can just give them the plastic eggs and let them have at it. See, that one's bent, so I'm not going to use that one. I'm using all of them that I can find. I feel like I might have more. I'm not sure. Hopefully not. I think I have a lot. You should have the same amount because I took the eggs apart. Oh! <laughs> Mommy! Mine fell again. I definitely have a bigger one. Alice Gray is definitely doing better. Cool. Yeah. Well, now, of course, her tower is going to be bigger because your part of the egg is bigger, right? It gets taller. All right, so this is a fun game for the kids to play. Something that you can just give them and say, hey, go see what you can do with these eggs. Build a tower. Stack them up. See what else you can do with it. This time, this one is spin the egg. And I'm going to have a sheet in the description where the, your children can time their egg and see, okay, which time did it spin the fastest? And maybe they want to do it on the kitchen table. Maybe they want to do it on the floor. And then they spin it and time it and see how long, you know, they can use a timer that's on your phone and see how long it spins. Give them a little time to experiment with it. And then you can say, all right, what happens if we put a piece of Play-Doh in here? Does it spin faster or slower? Slower. It does kind of spin slower, doesn't it? It stays in place more but it does, spin, it does seem to spin a little slower. Then maybe you could put like a penny in there. So does the penny change the way the egg spins? And give them different variables and see what happens. Yeah. Now we're gonna make parachutes. Parachutes. What's gonna be cool about this is you can see which parachute works better, the smaller part of the egg or the bigger part of the egg. We're also gonna do some other variables. Okay, we're gonna use long um, Chanel sticks, and we're gonna use short Chanel sticks. We're also gonna use long straws and short straws and see 
which one works better. So you need some straws, some Chanel sticks, coffee filters, and again, tape and plastic eggs, okay? All right, so Alice Gray, what we're gonna do, I'll do the short Chanel stick. I'm gonna do the long Chanel. Okay, and then we're gonna tape it onto the top of the coffee filter. Did I give you a coffee filter? No. I'm sorry. It's fine. Okay. Tape. And then, yes. Then I'm gonna tape this one over here. Now, I accidentally had two coffee filters, but I wonder if we can make that a variable. Would it, does it flow slower with two coffee filters versus one? So maybe I should have left that on there. Oh, I have two. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay, well, she's got two and I've got one, so we'll see. Which part of the egg are you gonna use on that one? This one. The small? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll use the small too, so we at least have that the same. And these are both Chanel sticks, so. Then we're gonna tape this. Mm -hmm. You could tape it to the outside. I don't think it matters. I don't know, I could. <laughs> I, I was about to tape it to the other egg. <laughs> I can't tape it to two separate eggs, that would be silly. Okay, so we've got a parachute here. Very cute. We'll put that one aside. And then we're gonna make our one with the straw. Do you wanna do short straws or long straws? Okay, so she's gonna do all long and I'm gonna do short. Okay? Taping straws, taping straws, taping straws. All right, now we're taping straws to the coffee filters. You could also try popsicle sticks if you wanted to, or you remember those little, um, I don't know if they still come with those cups, the little ice cream scoops. You could try those. Yeah. When, we, when I was young and we used to buy the little ice cream, individual ice creams, like um, we buy the Blue Bell, chocolate and vanilla oh. vanilla oh, yeah. it used to come with little wooden spoons oh, but I don't think that or when we at lunch in the lunch room oh, we yeah. had the little thing okay so here's this it's not quite as flexible as this one so we'll see what happens okay, still haven't done and it. I don't feel like it's even but do you feel like mine is even? I don't know. I don't think, I don't feel like mine's even either. I feel like it's crooked. So, adjust it until you're happy. <laughs> now, we are going to go, since we have stairs in the house, we're going to go and see what happens when we drop them. Okay, Alice Gray and Sarah Beth have the parachutes up there. Now drop the Chanel stick parachutes first. Okay? All right, ready? Yeah. Al uh, Sarah Beth has the short, Alice Gray has the tall or long. All right, one, two, three, go. Okay, the short one definitely fell slower. Okay? All right, let's try this one. These are the straws. Again, Alice Gray has the long, Sarah Beth has the short. Let's go. Okay, the long straws worked better that time, didn't they? Okay, so what you see is, it just depends on what you use as to which one is going to flow slower. And that's the whole point, you want it to flow slower. So try different things, and it's a really cool experiment for the children to try, and then they work out the different variables and see which one works best. Thank you for joining us today. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below. It's free. And don't forget to give us a huge thumbs up. Click the like button and turn on those notifications so you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video.